Morning Keto fam, I am freezing this morning. I am not turning my heat on. I'm not. And then in two days, I have to turn my air conditioning on. I'm not going to do it. So, it's pretty chilly this morning. It's about 50-something degrees. It is uh, about quarter to nine. I've been up since about uh, 6.30, I guess. Six. Between 6 and 6.30. I actually slept quite nice last night. Um... I was laying there, and my stomach was making those gurgly noises, and my husband's like, maybe you should eat. And I'm like, no, I'm fasting, I'm fasting. Uh, excuse the morning look. This is, yeah, no makeup. Anywho, so doing pretty good. I actually feel pretty good this morning. I feel a, a bit of energy, which is good. Uh, drinking my black coffee and water. Stay hydrated, guys. Anyhow, so feeling pretty good this morning. Um, pretty confident I can make it through today. Feeling good. Just, I'm chilled, but I'll be all right. Um, I just want to make a quick comment. I've been uh, on my Facebook groups, and like I said in an earlier video, these, these Facebook groups are really starting to irritate the shit out of me. And uh, catching up on some videos. And... <sighs> Guys, if you follow my channel and you're on some of these Facebook groups, a week with no losses is not a plateau. A week where you've stalled out is not a stall. I'm sorry. We took many years destroying the inside of our body and the outside of our body. We as fat people wore our disease and our addiction on the outside. So, sugar and carbs have been proven to be an addiction. It's like any kind of alcoholism, drugs, any kind, it's an addiction. It's, it's a brain trigger. You have to um, get yourself in the mindset that it is a disease. Not, I'm not doing this to lose weight. I'm not doing this because I'm fat. Treat it like a disease and your mindset will change. Nobody wants a disease, right? My disease was cancer. That's the shit that kicked me in my ass that said, okay, what are you going to do about it? You have the ultimate control over it and only you. So if you treat it like a disease and not a quick fix to lose some weight Maybe your mindset will change, okay? Diabetes is a disease. Hypertension is a disease. Cancer, all these things that, that are, are associated with being overweight. Being overweight is the symptom, okay? It's not the disease. It's just the symptom of the disease. If you treat it that way, I think people's mindsets will change a little bit more like, oh, I have to have those, uh, that candy bar, or I have to have those French fries. I just have to. No, treat it like a disease. I think people's mindsets will change if you do that. Uh, real quick. Um, no, not real quick. I don't know what I'm thinking. I, I got a little off track there, but... A week with no losses is not a stall. I've had three, three month long stalls. This has been my third one. But I don't get discouraged because I know that if I go back to eating the way I did, it's not doing me any good. It's not doing my children any good to have to watch their mother go through this kind of thing. It's, it's ultimately a decision that we all have to choose. It's a mind game. You are in ultimate control over what you put in your mouth and how you feel. We've all been down that road where we're like, oh, screw it. I'm just going to eat this. And, and, and we all know how we feel afterwards. Tired, worn down, uh, wicked, like crampy, yucky, bloaty bleh, feeling when we eat them. This is a conscious decision that we make when we put these things in our mouths. 
It is an addiction that happens to come along with creating diseases. The addiction is real. But I think if we change our mindset on it's not just a, a lose weight tactic, but it's a disease. And do we want to live with that disease? I don't think so. I know I don't. I don't want the diseases that come along with being obese. I don't want the disease that I have now that I'm uh, that I myself personally have taken control over. It's a conscious decision, guys. I, do, I don't mean to be preachy. I'm not even religious like that. But I think we, if we change our mindsets, I think we may look go into this type of eating and this in this control over the carbohydrates and the sugar. I think would change. Change your mindset. Okay, guys. I'll check back in later on today and let you know how I'm feeling. Got to go get ready for class. So, Take care, guys, and I'll see you in a little bit. Love you. Bye. Hey, guys. It's Keto Kelly. Just getting her done. G-I-S-T stands for gastrointestinal stromal tumor. For those of you who are not familiar or haven't gone back uh, further into my videos, that's what the G-I-S-T stands for gastrointestinal stromal tumor Hold on one second. okay right now it's just a little bit after one I just got home from class and I'm feeling pretty good feeling pretty good I am coming up on 72 hours and feeling pretty damn good so this is what I got going over here right, let me show you real quick you guys see some chicken bone broth. It's from that bone broth that I had made uh, the other day. This is all that's left over. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. I did add some water to it. But it was so funny when I pulled it out of the fridge. I mean, it's, it's gelatinous when you pull it out of the fridge. And then you got that amazing coat of fat on the top. But uh, that's collagen, basically, what the gelatinous is. And it's great for skin. And it's great for... Uh, B uh, bones, all that good stuff. So, mm. and it's so good. And I got quite a bit of um, pink Himalayan salt. Pink Himalayan, bleh, pink Himalayan salt sprinkled in it, and it's it's amazing. And e even even she is. Did you want some of my bone broth? Did you want some? Yes, it smells very good, mommy. She is licking her chops. <laughs> you are really licking your chops. Okay. So, doing pretty good. <laughs> Other than choking on my own spit, I'm doing pretty good. Feeling energized. Feeling amazing right now. And I am going to keep pushing on. So, mm -hmm. So, from my little speech this morning which I'll attach to this video, which you guys will see first. I am a true believer in that if we start treating what obesity or whatever it is that's ailing us, treating it like a disease, which it is, but versus trying to go into this way of eating with just the idea of, yeah, I'm going to do a quick fix and lose some weight, and then I don't lose weight, I lose, you know, 20 pounds the first two weeks and then oh my god I'm in the stall because I didn't I didn't lose another 20 pounds the next week it's not how our bodies work you guys there's a lot of healing going on inside so we have to let our bodies adjust to what we're doing so be patient trust this process it works it works and I am so close to a hundred pounds lost yes it's taken me two years but I wouldn't trade this feeling for anything in the world. I really wouldn't. So, mm, I'm gonna enjoy this bone broth, you guys, because it is so so good. I need to pick up some more thigh. Oh, here she comes. <laughs> Did you want some bone broth? You want to say hi to YouTubers? Say hi to YouTubers. You want to say hi to YouTubers? Oh, you want to give me? Oh, this one. Some. <laughs> you can't have this is liquid baby this is liquid she's used to me giving her 
a, a bite of everything that I ate, and she's going nuts this week because I haven't eaten anything. <laughs> oh, look at the chicken fat. You wanted some of that, huh? You can't have that. I'm going to do it. Anyway, guys, all right. I don't know if I'm going to come in tonight, but feeling pretty good. Energized. Not the, the little hunger pangs that happen when you're on your fast. It's a mental thing. Think past it. It does go away. The first, the first day was a little rough, but it was rough, huh? It was rough because you didn't get nothing, huh? Yeah, I do. Oh, this is a love bug. And, um, today it's, I don't really feel much of anything. Not much of anything today. You're hating me right now, because where's my food, mama? Where's my food, mama? Where's my food, mama? Where's my food, mama? Where is my food? Where's my food, mama? Oh. <laughs> Where's my eye? You look at my eye. You look at my eye, baby. You say hi to all the YouTubers that you always doing photo bombs in my videos. Huh? You always doing photo bombs in my videos. You're so cute. I love her. Okay. So, that's it, guys. I'm done. I'm going to play with the dog for a little bit. Maybe go outside and throw something around, stick or something for her to play with. So that's it guys, I might come in later and uh, give you a shout out and let you know how I'm feeling. I feel fantastic right now. Ketones are flowing and I'm loving it. So, alright guys, I love you and I will talk to you either later or tomorrow. Have a great day and keto on people.